Okay, today um, you're going to get your virtual learning packet out and you're going to open up to the first page, Lesson 24, Problem Set. And you're going to write your name right here. Okay, so today we are going to use number bonds and write two number sentences that show you added the tens first. Draw quick tens if it helps you. So we're going to start right here with 14 plus 13. And what we're going to do first is we're going to add the tens. Okay, so we're going to add this 14 and this 10. And when we add that 14 plus 10 more, we have two tens, because if we have 14, and then another 10, that makes 24. Now we're not quite done, because we still have this three that we need to add from the 13. And so um, we're going to go 20, we're going to add this 4 plus this 3. So if we needed to, we could count on 4, 5, 6, 7. So, and we still have that two tens. So 24 plus 3 equals 27. 24, 25, 26, 27. So 14 plus 13 equals 27. Okay, so let's move on to problem B. On problem B, we have 13 again, and we broke it apart. 1, 10, 3 ones. And we're going to first add our 10s. So we're going to add the 24 plus this 10 first. Okay, so 24 has two 10s and four ones. And then we're adding another 10. So we have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. We have three tens and four ones makes 34. So 24 plus 10 equals 34. We are not done though, because we still have to add the plus three that's left over. So we're gonna bring our 34 down, and then we are going to add our four plus our three, which we know four plus three is seven, but we still have three tens. So three tens, seven ones is 37. So 34 plus three equals 37. 13 plus 24 equals 30. Seven. A lot of you guys already knew that just by looking at it because you could see the three and the four make the seven, the one and the two make the three. But we have to show our thinking. That's why we're doing our number bond and we're writing the two sentences we used to solve this problem. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to C. We have 16 plus 13 and we're adding, we broke apart 13, 1, 10, 3. And we're adding our 10 first to the 16. So we're going to add our 16 and our 10 together. We know that 16 has one 10, six ones, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're adding another 10. When we do that, we have two 10, six, or 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. We bring our 26 down, and then we still have our 3 that we need to add, our plus 3. And we're going to be adding that 3 to the 6. And when we do that, we get 9. But we also have two 10s. So we have two 10s, 9 ones. 2, 10, 9, 29. 26 plus 3 equals 29. 26, 27, 28, 29. 16 plus 13 equals 
29. Now we have 13 plus 26. Now, if you feel like you're doing a really good job and you're like, yeah, Mrs. Christian, I am understanding this, you can pause the video and try to do this one on your own and then hit play to check your work. If you're still not feeling 100% comfortable, you can just continue watching and following along with Mrs. Christian and doing it along with her. So we have 13 plus 26 and we broke apart 13, one 10, three ones. And we're gonna add the tens first to the 26. So we're gonna do 26 plus 10. Okay, we know that 26 has how many tens? Two. How many ones does 26 have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoa. And then we have to add another 10. Three, 10, six is 36. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. We're gonna bring the 36 down. Plus, we have to add that extra three that's left over. So we're gonna add the six and the three. Six plus three is six, seven, eight, nine. Six plus three is nine. We still have three tens left. So we have three, 10, nine, 39. 36, 37, 38, 39. 13 plus 26 equals 39. Okay, now we're gonna come down here to the bottom. We've got 15, 1, 10, 5, we broke that apart. We're going to add the tens first. So we're gonna do 15 and 10. And we're going to write 15 plus 10. We know 15 has one 10, five ones, five. And we know that 10 just has a 10. We know two 10, five is 25, 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. We're gonna bring the 25 down, but we're not done because we still have to add that extra five. When we add the extra five, what is five plus five? You should know that immediately. It is a perfect 10. Five and five make 10. Well, we still have that two tens and we have another 10. So if we have 20 and we have another 10, it becomes a 30. Uh, 10, 20, 30. So 15 plus 15 is 30. Now we're gonna do 15 plus 25. And as you can see, there is nothing. We have to do it all on our own. So let's think through our steps. The first step is to break out the um, 15. 15, say it the 10 way. One, 10, five. So we're gonna put a 10 and a five. Now let's think about our next step. What are we gonna add first to the 25? Are we gonna add the 10? Or are we gonna add the five? We're gonna add the 10 first. So we're gonna do 25 plus 10. Now we're gonna think how many 10s are in 25? Two. How many ones are in 25? Five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna add another 10 stick. And we have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. 25 plus 10 equals 35. Now let's think about what we're gonna do next. We're gonna bring the 35 down. We're not done. We have to add that extra five. When we do, what is five plus five? It's an easy 10. We have three 10s and another 10. 30 
Add 10 more. 40. So 15 plus 25 equals 40. Great, great job today adding teen numbers together. Have a great day.